Welcome to my hood, brother. <laughs> my hometown. I wanted to buy a lucky bead. Yeah. Year of the Dragon. Of course. <laughs> Happy New Year to everyone watching. Happy New Year, guys. And this man said to me, you gotta come with me. That's Let right. me be your guide. It's my hometown. We're not just gonna go straight to your bracelet uh, spot, the, the jewelry shop, but how about we do the Lunar New Year treaty? Now, did you eat breakfast? You already ate? I had my mate. Okay. Compulsory. So the stomach's still empty, baby. We can still hit about three or four places around Springvale. I love it. The hottest places. I did see that you got the sesame balls. What are they called again? I call them sesame balls too. Oh. <laughs> Cause she was like, uh, I can't remember, something ma, ma. She really wanted me to oh, say yeah, it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, I'm ma, trying. I'm trying. Yeah. So this is the hood, huh? There's two buildings in Springvale, the older building and the newer building. Yep. This is in the like the late 80s, the 90s. This is where all of us grew up getting our fruit and stuff like that yeah, here, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You've got the uh, coffees and the sugarcane juice, which yes. we'll get later towards yes. here. Now, there's one old uncle. I didn't know about this. Oh, so yeah. you're, this you're taking like me now. In yeah, the yeah like, this is the, in, the guts of it. I just went on the main street. Now there's one old uncle yeah. and he's had his dessert shop here for a long time. Yep. What we call an OG. Okay, all right? This is man. Yeah. You can tell by the signs, the fairy lights. Yeah. It's pretty old style. Yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's something in the 1970s. That's right. Yeah. Oh, Joe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hôm qua con tới với vợ con kiếm cái bánh uh... Yeah, đúng rồi, đúng rồi, đúng rồi. Mà hôm nay không có, không có đúng không? So they make everything fresh in the morning. Yeah. They make it themselves fresh in the morning. Yeah. But it means that every day there could be different things. Right. So what I wanted to get today, he said, with that run out, there's none this morning. Oh, I love that. So I'll find like the next hot seller. Yeah. And we'll get something else today. Right. I call it emoting tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What we're gonna get. What about the sesame balls? No, yeah, I mean that looks, those look I mean, really they good. Look good they look really good. I know that you like this, but actually yeah, yeah. my personal favorite, this has oh. much, it's got more sugar in it. Let's do it baby. Okay. Yeah. What we're gonna do, yeah. is we're gonna get one of them yeah. and two of them. But it's three for five fifty. <laughs> so we're saving money. Now I want to get your take on these sesame balls. Can't these are my try absolute favorites. Can't wait to but how were the last ones? And that was beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But I've never had the money. Whoa, 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 come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> We're gonna have too much food, I think. Yes. Just one piece. All right. So what is it? I've never had this. Okay. I've always been a little bit shy of this stuff. Why? Tell me, tell me, tell well, me, tell me. A beef jerky's always been a bit... Oh, th this is jerky. I know, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Jerky's always been a bit scary. Okay. And I'm like, I don't know, anyway. Can I have one piece of the honey pork, please? But we're here to experience new things. He's paying for all, everything today. He's a good guy. He's a good man. When you're in my hood, my hometown. We got to do incense perfumes. Okay, okay. I just walked through. I could smell incense burning. I'm guessing yes. you went to the temple yeah. to, to, to honor the, the ancestors. Some people, when they think of the incense, the woods, they think Middle Eastern style. Yep. But they don't know actually in Asian culture, particularly around New Year's, yeah. we burn the incense for the ancestors, right. stuff like that. All right, so what we're going to do is take a seat on the throne. This is the throne in Springvale. We have Zerjoff Zafira. Hit me. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me, so the theme's going to be all incense fragrances. Yeah. I smelt before going through there a sweet incense. Somebody was burning a sweet yeah, incense. Yeah, yeah. Here, in, uh, when it hits the new year, a lot of businesses, they believe that you burn some of the incense for good luck right. for the year. Good right. luck for business, right. sales, stuff right. like that. Right. And so a lot of people would do that. What are you getting? I'm getting a rich, sweet, almost like a honey incense. I love it. Yeah. All right, that's my dry down. Okay. Smooth, really smooth. One thing about the, the Zerjoff incense, or so this is Zafira. Yeah. It has an ingredient called honey of the gods. So what you, what you picked up, it's a beautiful, sweet incense. If you don't like oh, incense, this is not for you. It's yeah. very clean and clear, the incense note. Yes. But that honey. And you can't go wrong. When you, Zerjoff, juice quality, I mean, we this all know. This is part of the 1861, did I get yeah. that right? 1861 collection. 1861 yeah. collection. Yeah. Zafiro is the poor cousin, but a big hitter in my opinion. Awesome. Did you say Zafiro is the poor cousin? I think so. Of who? <laughs> well, Naxos. Of Naxos. Naxos. Renaissance. Everyone's like the rich uncle. The... And yeah, it's yeah. absolutely glorious. It's awesome. Bam! All right. Grab one, please, sir. 
Yeah. I bet which one's I the really want you to get the yellow one. I want to get the Can yellow you just, one. Just, just rip it in half, and if it's the red one, then... then... What do you got? What? Oh, Ooh. look at that. You know, someone Gluttonous. said... Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, baby. So someone said that this is like uh, the Japanese mochi. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's yeah. got that sort mochi, of very, mochi, yeah. yeah, very sort of gooey. Yeah. The difference is with mochi that I've, the ones that I've had is that it's not fried. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. So this is the mung bean. You get the crispiness. I'm gonna eat my one. Mm. 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 Oh, that's it's more peanutty. That. So the the red bean, actually, the red bean is sweeter, whereas this one here is more peanutty, a little bit drier. But so oh, good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, love I can it, get myself it. sick on these. Yeah. And I, one time, I think I yeah. ate three. Yeah. And because they're fried, mm. there's that really nice. You get that crispy bite mm. at the end of it before you pull away, and then you get all that mm. gooey stickiness mm. that when you rip it apart. With the mat, this is gorgeous. The sesame flavor is very rich in it. If you love sesame, I was watching you when you were having the first one. You were just smelling the. You can really smell the sesame off this. It's gorgeous. Amazing. You're gonna rip a little bit of. I'm gonna make you try this. <laughs> all right, all right. Because this is the honey pour. Mm -hmm. All right, so like the jerky style with honey. Um, cheers, bro. What do you think? Oh, baby. Here we go. Soft barbecue kind of flavor. Sweetness from the honey. Mm -hmm. Saltiness from the pork itself. Mm -hmm. it reminds me of a salami. Yeah. It's got a bit of a... Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty good. Look at us, we're like Anthony Bourdain. The moment you walk into Springvale, yeah. you are teleported in another <laughs> to, to another world, an Asian country. In yeah. this case, Vietnam. I mean, I've never been to Vietnam. But yeah, we're going to Vietnam, bro. Yeah, we have to go to Vietnam. We are going. Okay, we are going to Vietnam. I like that. And then there'll be a transition, us walking through Springvale, and then when we're in Vietnam, oh. boom, and it's like we're actually. In what are we doing in Vietnam? Because the motorbikes are going around. Are we doing? We're food? doing oud. Yes, please. we're doing patchouli. We're doing all that good stuff. I love it. All right. You know what I love? The yeah. lanterns, uh, the, the actual festival. Oh, yeah, that, I love that it. Shot there. I love it. Because this is not normally here. It's like Christmas. Yes. Where they, they put the Christmas decorations up. Christmas for here, us. it's all about New Year, Lunar New Year. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Look at this, guys. Ooh. From auntie, uncle, look at that. So, this is what we get in our culture when we, uh, we have a uh, moment where we go see our elders, whether it be your auntie, your uncle, grandmother, stuff like that, your parents. You're going to. Wish them well, so you, you say stuff like, um, I wish you health, prosperity, and for my grandma, I say, I wish you to live over 100 years. Wow, right? that's beautiful. And she'll turn around and she'll say, she'll have this in her hand. Right? <laughs> Which is important. Yeah. She says, I wish, I wish you all success in, in your work, your business, I hope that you find a new job or career, your studies, stuff like that. And, uh, and then this is just, it's not important how much is in the envelope. Sure. It's the gesture of wishing yeah, yeah, your, yeah. Your, your grandchild, your yeah, nephew. That's beautiful. Yeah. There you go. And how do they say it? These are a particular, so we say, do we do two hands? Yeah. And, we, so, so, I always love so that part of the... We have to receive it with two hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they'll say, Chuk mung nam mai in Vietnamese. I'm not even going to attempt it. try to say, no, 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 Chuk no, no. mung, say, say, say. All right. Chuk mung. Chuk mung nam mai. Nam mai. <laughs> I feel like this is like Christmas decorations. Um, so a lot of it is for luck and prosperity and right, health. Right, right. So everything that the household adds is to try to bring all that energy in. I love it. Right. For something like this, for example, this is more just to carry all of your envelopes. Right. <laughs> so it's like it's like um, the Halloween where yeah. the kids have a yeah, lolly jar. Right. This is now the the equivalent of it. Yeah, yeah I love yeah. it. Yeah. Because you want each, this... each elder is supposed to give one of the children an you, envelope each. And you want this to be full. You would hope it's full. Why do some people um, grab some of these things here where you hang and stuff? Um, so there's always a lot of variety because everyone has different preferences on decorating their house. Right. Yeah. Wow. And I love that. I love the dragon. Yeah. So this wow. year in particular is a special year because it, it is the year of the dragon. Yeah. Yes. And that's Why is that most, such a big deal? Um, I think because of all cultures, everyone likes dragons. Everyone yeah. wants a dragon. Everyone wants a Every dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon is the is the boss. Yeah. You know, of all the animals, it's the mystical one. It's yeah. the power. It's the all-powerful yeah. creature. We found out they love perfume, hence why we're doing this thing. So Kevin and Guy, I'm gonna spray this fragrance here. Now the focus is incense. 
So tell me what you think. Do you mind if I spray on your yeah, arm? Sure. All right, here we go. Guy. Thank you. Kevin. For me, it's 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 much more of a sweeter, yeah. richer experience. Not in honey, like like the no. other one that we tried just earlier. Do you believe? Yeah. It's carrot seed. <laughs> carrot seed. Getting an earthy scent to wow. it. Wow. Yeah. And olibanum, which is the sweet incense. Yeah. So what you wow. the, the sweetness is coming from the incense. Beautiful. It's off the hook, amazing. What do you think? Yeah, I'm unique. I haven't, I haven't smelled. That it's wild, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very wild. cool. And Boom. So we're gonna get some sugar cane. I'm so surprised that it's actually liquid that comes out of mm. it. It looks like a bamboo stick. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 This is now Boyce's Scudo. Now this is by... This is Boyce 1920. Yeah. Our boys. Our boys. Our boys in Florence. Oh, yeah, there you go. Very totally different. different. <laughs> I can smell that in the air. I find always in the opening of Scudo, it's much more of that ashy, really ashy incense there. So, where's Zerjoff, if you love incense, is very deep, but the honey and the sweetness. Mm. Whereas this is almost dry, as you said, ashy. Yeah. It has the, the um, almost black pepper or That's some right. kind of spices or there. Almost like, almost like, because uh, we, just the other night on the eve, yeah. we go to church and we do the whole shebang there. Yeah. And they had the incense that the, the altar server actually, right. you know, does the blessings yes. for it. Literally, like it's out of the incense uh, right. pot. Right. Yeah. Really. And scudo means dark, and it's perfect. That's yes, the right yes, name. Yes. 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 Right now. Now this. I love this one. I always think only evening during the day, and it's 30 degrees for us here. Yeah. Here today, this is hot for this. But it works, don't you? Yeah. Think? I mean, absolutely. So I was wearing this in Florence. Yes. It was hot. It works. Magic. As a hot yeah. day fragrance, it works. And the sea oh, that this produces, it's good. totally different to That's what you good. think it's going to be. It actually Absolutely. works better than the Zerjev one. Yeah. Personally? Yeah? Yeah. Let's go! Straws. You know my life is all about treatings. I love treatings. You can tell from my... Uh, You're a man that likes to... <laughs> what do you say? Indulge in the finer things Absolutely. in life. Bring it, baby. You know what, what do you think? You know what's this, funny? This yeah, is yeah, better yeah. than what I thought. Yeah, I've yeah. always been reluctant because I just thought it was going to be like sugar water. You know, because yeah. it's sugar cane. It's really... It's a really weird, I mean, it's quite weird. It's lemon. Yes. It's, good. it's got like a lemony sort of taste to yeah. it. And which is like, they didn't put any lemon, did they? No. Yeah. No, no, no. It's got that sourness, mm. but the sweetness mm. from the sugar cane. Mm. And you don't expect that out of like a bamboo kind of looking right. uh, stick that it comes out like this. Because it almost has like a very light bergamot mm. sort of scent profile to, or taste profile to yeah. it. Yeah. Now, tell us where we're going. All right, this is my jeweler. I want to go here. I want to get myself a dragon. Dragon bracelet. <laughs> okay, let's go. Bam. I'm like his security. Boom. Zoom. Damn. <laughs> so now, <clears throat> sexy as. All right. Oh, so that. you ready? Yeah, yeah. Tell this me. is now. Gives me good luck. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Health. Yeah. And good luck. <laughs> I said, I said that, so, all right. Good luck, money, health. Damn! That's what it does. Yeah? The only catch is this, and this is what she explained. If it breaks, yeah. it means that it drew the bad luck. Uh, it drew the bad, the bad luck in. That's right, so sure, if sure. it's broken, it's because it drew the bad luck. Mm. So I now need to replace it so I can continue to have good luck. Sounds like a good way for her to sell multiple so bracelets. It, so you gotta spend money to make money so spend money to make money, to have good luck, to have bad luck gone because you're spending more money. Your finance is shaking your head behind the camera right <laughs> it now. makes sense to me. <laughs> I don't know about you, it makes sense. Spring bell, baby! <laughs> what? If you like incense and your fragrances, yeah. this is the one you need to go and try out. This is super complex in typical Matier Premier style. Yes. So incense is the, the arc on it, but it does it in such a unique way. Now I know that the, the Matier Premier in, in particular are very known for their growing the naturals, 
the roses that they have. Correct. And I think what you're picking up is coffee. Okay, there's this there's sweetness that, but a little bit dark and sweet that's just divine. All right, that sweetness yeah. is the, um, it's from Somalia. That much I do know, but I can't wow. remember what kind, whether wow. it's myrrh, yeah. whether it's an olibanum, yeah. um, but it's, it's amazing. Yeah. You, get the, you do get the darkness from all of that, but... This is a summer fragrance. I have to say, this is my favorite among the, yeah. the pick today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's my man, he's a plumber. He's getting himself, uh, putting that, that ladder on there. <laughs> it's a working day. It, it, it's, it's a, a Monday. It's a, it's, a, it's a big ladder. It's a big ladder. That's what you hear. It. <laughs> wow. It's gorgeous, huh? That's beautiful. Big recommendation. If you're new to incense, yeah. I'd start here. I'd start on yeah. this one. I would start here. Because it's one of the most wearable? Is that? It has so many. So it, incense is its story, but there's so many other elements to it. Yes. So you can yeah. detect the, 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 the coffee note the in coffee there. Note. Yes. As a wearable fragrance. Yeah. It's longevity, projection, it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous all around. It's funny that you say that because I find a lot of people walk into the store, they are looking for an incense, but when I show them a true incense, they find it not wearable. Correct. They're like, oh, okay, it smells like a church yeah. kind of vibe to it, love it. Yeah. But I don't want to walk around smelling like just incense. Yeah, so yeah. I think this makes it so wearable Absolutely. with those extra layers and extra Absolutely. elements to Absolutely. it there. Gorgeous fragrance. Beautiful. Last one. Yeah. I say not the best to last, but the bougiest to last. I noticed you brought the full presentation. Only this. because you yeah. have to see this. So okay. This is called The Palace by Jazeel. Yes. And it is to represent the entrance to a palace. Boom. Yeah. The Whoa. box is just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at and that. now, boom. Wow. I mean, look come at on. That. Okay. Okay. Forget about it. Yeah. I love this one. Beautiful. If you want to smell rich, and you want to smell incense and a million other things? Well, wow. oh, I can smell it. I find them very complex. Yeah. Um, by Mr. Ali, one of the friends of our store, he's. Um, I find that he really enjoys the intricacy of perfume making. Yeah. So this is. I'm getting. Not. You know, if you had told me that this is the incense, even I wouldn't say it's the incense as the start of the show. No. There's so many facets and layers. Instantly, what jumps out at me is that soapy freshness. Yep. Almost like a lot of the jasmines, very clean, musky, spices. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can rich. smell it. You yeah, don't need to rich. If you want something that wow. is yeah. bougie yeah. and potent and yeah. powerful and projects money. And yeah. The other thing too is that there's an oud and the incense. Yeah. For me, I get bay leaf. Can you smell the bay leaf? Like a herbal bay leaf. There was something green yeah. that, that, that jumps out at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't pick that it's bay leaf per se, but yeah. this is uh, gorgeous. All right, so we are in Kevin's favorite bubble tea shop. It actually is, uh, I chose this because Marcelo, whenever we go to get something, any Asian food, he always wants to finish off with a milk tea. I do. Yeah. You love milk tea. I do like milk tea. Yes. This is one of my favorite places. They I, make I, uh, brown sugar milk tea. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, oh, I, I actually discovered this place in Tokyo. Wow. Yeah, so the, the, got it. it's called the Alley. Yeah. They're Korean, though, aren't they? Huge. I believe Taiwanese. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. But this here is like, uh, for me, Creme de la creme of okay. milk tea places. This is the best one. This is luxury niche. Luxury niche. Yeah. yeah. Double tea. We've had a lot to eat and drink today, actually. <laughs> mm. So you got all that brown sugar at the bottom there, really rich in the sweetness. So a lot of people like to mix it up, like Marcelo here. You have the iconic tapioca pearls. What are you saying? I did the white man way of doing it? Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it up. He's like, oh, it's too sweet. <laughs> Mixed it up. Okay, fine. Yeah. You're not meant to mix it, are you? you do, I, I, I can't drink it like that. You can do what you want. I know. It's, it's otherwise, sweet. you're just going straight sugar. Yeah, yeah. where is this? Yeah. And that's why I have three cavities. <laughs> so there you have it. Year of the Dragon. You ready? Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, <laughs> <laughs>